Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Thank you guys for being here today. If you enjoy our content, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. We are still inside of the monastery today. The Githyanki have mostly been killed off inside of their crash. Our Githyanki is just back at camp sleeping. Don't worry, nothing too bad happened. Karlak is going to be joining us today. Before we leave this monastery, we were working on a puzzle that was using ceremonious weapons, ceremonial weapons, over in a big room. And I'm thinking on the roof we'll find some more. I was going to look around, but accessing the roof kept throwing me into this cutscene. So this is where we are going to start today. It's that small step Karlak does forward there, I think. That's what starts this off. She's the one in the conversation, too. Well, uh, great view here. The giant eagle regards you with disdain. We are going to try some animal handling. Turn away from the eagle as you approach, indicating you are not interested in the nest. We're going to add the guidance bonus on the 18 difficulty. We get a 14 plus one plus. Oh, my God. Starting eagle off with a perfect roll. Satisfied, but keeps a watchful eye on you. So I'm not necessarily, oh, I am interested in what the eagle has. Oh, I'm not trying to fight Lord of the Rings characters though. These are some gigantic eagles. Perhaps this might be a little ridiculous, but perhaps I can cast darkness. So it doesn't affect the eagles in any way, right? We're not hitting it. It shouldn't perceive that as a threat. Here's a little bit of darkness. Zen goes in, grabs the weapon. <laughs> oh. The damn bird's screeching for its chums. Oh, everyone else follows me. Well, we almost stole it. Literally, they walked forward, and I think that's what caused it. Otherwise, Zen would be in combat right now. Well, he's just going to leave. There's there's a puzzle over here. I want to see what it does. Ceremonial Warhammer. Drop item. Did you really have to step down to drop it? Ooh, what's in the pouch? What's in the pouch? This was four weapons scattered across this entire monastery. Inside, we have the Dawn Master's Crest, which I guess I'll pick up. And a note to the next Dawn Master. To the next Dawn Master. I don't think we're going to make it, but the blood is secure. We close it off with magic. Only one of our own can make it. If anyone else tries, the walls will fall and they won't get out of here alive. Should that happen, pray for Rosamorn Monastery. But do not mourn. It's for the best. In death, new life. Always. This blood sounds important. Could it still be here somewhere? Ooh, could it? Well, uh, it did say the walls would fall, so do we even want to find that blood? Well, either way, <laughs> my party's upstairs in combat, so I guess we'll catch back up to him. Hey guys, what's up? Karlak is going to rage because she's upset these birds attacked her when she didn't do anything wrong. Does darkness last forever with shadow monks? That seems crazy good. Uh, we're just going to get in close. 80% chance to hit. We do for 18, followed by 15. She's then going to stand her ground. Shadow Heart did not cast aid at the start of the day, so let's just do that now. We're going to upcast with a level three. That'll give us all how much bonus HP? 10 bonus HP. Uh, with the rest of her turn, she's just gonna move behind Karlak and get entangled by these magical roots that I did not see at all. Oh, no. Karlak's gonna end her turn. Zen is going for a sneak attack with his ranged weapon. We'll make it crit, why not? Woo, 37 damage as the largest of the eagles is taken down. Uh, we might be able to do some fancy footwork to get to the other side. Let's go ahead and jump over the entangling roots there. And now we are in position. For Will, on his turn, we're going to start his day off with casting a hex. This one's an intelligence hex. That's just the one I clicked on. Onto the eagle and then double blast that eldritch blast, pushing the eagle further in. 
You know, if they are calling for friends, this is the first round of combat. I'd rather kill as few eagles as possible. Let's just go ahead and use our action surge. Please tell me you can get in range to hit. Yes, indeed he can. And Eldritch Blast was still not enough to kill off this enemy. Good try, Will, good try. The eagle does fly back in, moving on to the nest. Not blinded, as far as I can tell. Uh, well, there they go. <laughs> there they go, bros. Trying to move onto the roof, and now my party's mostly dead. Jeez, dude, entangled as he fell, too. As if that wasn't bad enough. Uh, Will's gonna use second wind. He's also going to drink a few of his potions. We're starting to run low, but it's not too bad. We probably got a couple dozen for our party. Yeah, that's fine. They'll be okay. Darkness just ended. It does seem like it lasts a very long time. It was part of the, part of the combat, though, so it was probably tied to that a little bit. Uh, we have a bunch of crystals and a telescope of some kind that I think thought I could click on. Twisting vines are covering this. Uh, maybe I can burn some of these plants away? Let's have everyone kind of group up on the left away from some of the plants and we'll cast a fire bolt on them. That didn't do anything. That wasn't part of the twisting vines though. Let me try over here too. Mm, we did burn those away. Do the crystals do anything when I click on them? Absolutely nothing. There is another roof that we might be able to jump to. Let's go ahead and feather fall this with Will. Just to make sure everyone makes it over in one piece. It does look like it is a bit of a leap. We would have taken like six damage for that fall. So there we go. There we go. Skeletons over on this roof. A painted chest. On the far side, let's jump while we still can. This might be a solo run. Let's go ahead and split everyone off. Carlac can make this jump all day. The chest houses a Holy Lance Helm. Creatures who miss their attack rolls against the wearer must make a dexterity saving throw or take radiant damage. This counts as medium armor, so we can't wear it. But it might be good for... Probably Shadow Heart, although her helmet does give her additional healing at the moment. Nothing over here that has anything to do with that crystal, from what I can tell. The blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster, immortalized here for all to worship. This is where they kept the blood Ooh, of Lathander. Find the blood. So we have a official quest for that secret we opened up now and i think all we did was click on this plaque the blood of lathanda spilled in holy what does the quest Samaster, say i wonder here for all to worship we found an oddly shaped crest that belonged to the high priest of lathander perhaps it can help us find the blood of lathander i'm very intrigued by this i wasn't planning on sticking around at all but I'm going to head back into the monastery, like the underneath part, and just check around. If we don't find anything, we don't find anything. Oh, I found some gith I missed. Well, that was worth the price of admission already. I completely forgot these guards were here. Well, Karlak is going to run into the room with a big old jump. Be within melee range of Gish Farag. And with her double swing, 19 damage on the first one and 13 on the second. Zen, seeing her in combat, is then going to fire off a sneak attack onto the very same Githyanki. And with that 75% chance to hit, we do not connect. Zen's going to sneak down into the shadows for the next turn. Karlak's gonna be the, uh, she's gonna take a lot of damage, I imagine. No, we're gonna see a psychic cast on Shadowheart all the way back to the doorway. Now the melee attacks are coming in. 13 damage on the first swing, 12 on the second, and dodging the third. Whoa, that guy has a few attacks. A trip attack being used on Will, and it looks like it was successful. Did it do a million damage? Because Will, is he's already missing 35 HP. Well, I guess it makes sense that these guys were the guards then. 
Uh, we're going to do a wisdom hex onto warrior. I'm going to attempt to say this one time. Oh, we don't have enough movement. We're gonna move forward then and just Eldritch Blast. For whatever reason, Hex had a slightly shorter range. I could have maybe changed that with some of my sorcery points, but I think for now we'll just hold on to it. Attack of opportunity, hopefully no. Blindless being cast on Will and it does connect. Now she goes for a swing. Let's move forward and I'm kind of thinking we summon in David the zombie here. Oh, there's no bodies. Of course not. Of course, we can't do that. The, she's out of range for bless. I want to help. I just don't think there's too much I could do. Let's do a level two healing word on Karlak. That'll give her 11 HP back and it'll be Karlak's turn soon. Maybe a concentration would have been. I mean, that was a bonus action. I could have done something. Uh, we're going to Frenzy on Karlak. I really didn't think we were going to need this with only two guards being here, but the damage I've taken has been very humbling. First attack is enough to kill off one of the Githyanki. Now we're heading for the one that, uh, well, he beat us up pretty good. I'm not going to reckless attack that. I'm going to take the miss because that's going to give him advantage on swing on me next too, which I don't want him to have advantage on. Zen's going to fire off a sneak attack of his own from the shadows of the stairs, but a parry still happens. Before well, let me go ahead and just hide one more time and we'll continue to hold back here. The high ground Githyanki does not see Zen, but does 11 more damage to Will. Two swings, only one connecting, only for seven damage on Karlak. Are we gonna see a shot from the high ground? No, a tripping shot on Shadowheart does not connect, but the second shot does for four damage. Rally being used to buff the health of the other high ground attacker, as Will, now completely blind, tries to move forward. You know what? We're just going to full action hide Will in the back. He's taken enough damage for now. Shadowheart is going to continue to press forward with Sacred Flame on the mightiest warrior on the low ground, hitting him for eight damage. There is a ladder in front of us. We're going to slowly move towards that. And I'm going to do a level one healing word, this time on herself for six damage. She doesn't get any of the bonuses for healing herself, but that's okay. Carlax gonna swing! Partially parried, but still connects for six damage and then make it reckless. We do connect for 20 and take the target down. Carlax then going to leap in a single bound up to the high ground and stand behind the crossbowman here. Zen's going to look up to the other high ground across from her and fire off a sneak attack Oh, and that guy up there, there goes that rally bonus. That is gone. I do kind of like the idea of shadow stepping behind him and just appearing. But for now, I'm gonna move over to where Will is and sneak on that side. So that guy on the high ground won't be able to see either of us. Karlak, not strong enough to throw this guy outright. So that will end our turn. He tries to get a view, Ooh, what I thought was our team over here, but instead hits Karlak with some psychic damage. The crossbowman cl closest to her tries to move, gets attacked of opportunity for it, and then does not connect with either shot onto Shadowheart on the low ground. He's trying for that rally again. He must be desperate. I believe the Raider's turn is mostly over. Will is still blinded, so he's not gonna be able to do too much. We'll just keep him here. Shadowheart is going to attempt to, I was gonna say attempt to climb to the other side, but she can't even do that. You know, it's hilarious. We were having a fight right over here and these guys didn't even notice. <laughs> Well, we'll cast Sacred Flame onto the high ground then and hope for the best. He is rallied, but a 55% chance to hit, and we do for six damage. Karlek now goes in for the swing. She hits for, oh, almost enough for the full kill. Make it reckless to secure it. And then we are jumping across towards the other high ground attacker as soon as I can. Karlak's gonna line of sight just a little bit there. Zen is moving out now, and we're gonna see a ranged sneak attack happening again. 94% chance to hit, it does. That crossbow bolt goes all the way through that target's head. So this is a pretty big place to look, but I imagine if there's a sacred artifact, it's gonna be like hidden down below, right? So, ooh, elegant chest. So let's look around. 
thought I was pretty thorough when we were moving through this place. But there was something going on with these statues, and I didn't figure it out. I even had Lazel, who was our front line at the time, drink an elixir of growth, of, excuse me, elixir of hill strength, Lathander giant hill strength. It's the setting sun of fond farewell. <laughs> There's a sitting sun of fond farewell. Okay. Lathander blesses the rising bountiful sun. The rising sun. So. Lathander bids the setting sun a fond so farewell. So the sun may rise in the east. At least it settles in a fine location. Thank you so much, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Can I continue to rotate this? So this faces the sun. Do you move? The statue starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Rusty mechanism jam stuck. Rusty mechanism jam stuck. Rusty mechanism jam stuck. I have a scroll of grease. We tried every athletics check we have. I'm probably gonna fall. Nearly had it. Nearly had it. The statue it. starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Can Carlac try? She wasn't here. The statue starts to rotate, stuck. but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Why? Why did Zen say that he almost had it? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Watch out for the candle. The statue starts to rotate. <laughs> its rusty mechanism jams Then <laughs> move stuck. your bird and get out of there. So, I think I was supposed to grease that statue. I think I did that right. I think what I did wrong was clicking on it first. So, I'm going to try. Can I just fast travel? That would be so much easier. No, I can't fast travel in here. I'm going to try to swap out party members. Um... Uh, Anybody, anybody who hasn't participated in this puzzle, and I'm going to try to bring them back and see if it works. Now, you can't say that I haven't used Asterion. We're bringing him in. He's going to be the hero we need. Oh, Asterion. Oh, I believed in you the whole time. I wonder if I just didn't cast Grease properly the first time. So this statue needs to go all the way to the west. Well, well. Look what you've been hiding. I knew it. I knew it. There was a book in the upper area that talked about maintenance on machines and using grease. I had a good feeling about that. I had a good. Uh, all right, Sterry, good job. You could go go back to. He fell in his own grease. <laughs> let's uh, let's let him go back to his books at camp. All right, now that the vampire is gone, let's see what we can do. Some decorated barrels seem to be blocking the path. I'm having Carlac run up and she'll move those out of the way, no problem. Seems as though the secret of this place was kept because they're mostly still just using it for storage. With that, we should be able to jump in. And that is a very big door. It doesn't look like the Githyanki found this. The Daybreak Gate. Awesome. Perhaps we should be a little stealthy. Wait a minute. This is a whole different zone. In a millennium. Hasn't been Incredible. touched in a millennium. So there does seem to be a barrier here. This is just like the one we saw the Githyanki with, funny enough. Can I hit it? Zero damage. Energy source. Okay. So we just, just give that a good blast? From the Eldritch. One more. It's not even sturdy or anything. So we could have just shot that. So one er energy source down. That leads us into another room. Oh, never mind. Okay, leaving this room. Is that like a shock shockwave thing? What about this way? Is there anything we can do over here? So that's just a trap, it looks like. And maybe Zen can disarm it. Down. Wait for the pulse. Disarm. Oh, I was gonna say, do I not even have to roll? We have advantage. We got a natty 20. The trap even compacts itself back up into a portable size. That's my lore anyway. 
The plaque says, Lathander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return now. Return now. I don't feel like I want to, but how do we get to the end if the energy source <gasps> is still holding? We have to jump this way. And then probably just shoot the energy source. Can't sneak attack it, it has to just be a ranged attack. Although it looks like I could even melee this one if I really wanted to. <laughs> There's a reason we already always have Will do these things. That opens the next path for the team and we will disarm the trap. I don't know what this thing does. I'm glad I did not find out. I'm very glad I did not find out. Uh, now we seem to be at another impasse. This one doesn't have any super noticeable energy sources. Can I jump from back here? It's not looking too likely. No, they don't want me standing on any of that stuff. What about out this side? Oh, there it is. Another energy source. We will need to use a ranged weapon for this one. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Just just shoot it. You don't even you don't even have to think about it. It's not moving. I don't know if I'm adding any radiant damage to this or if that's just extra damage that these power sources take. Oh, let's bring the whole team forward. Find the blood of Lathander. Oh, that's looking good. Wait, that's literally it right there. Oh, it's not blood. It's a weapon. It's a mace. A legendary mace. I don't think Shadowheart will mind having that. Let me save. Hey, that's our guy. You want to talk, guy? Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. This is our necklace that's speaking to us. Uh, consider the inscribed image. What could it mean? Oh. Oh, okay. So he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any stuff. I'm just gonna you keep it clipped. All right. I thought he was chiming in. I thought he might have insight for these areas. Well, uh, I'm gonna split up my party just in case something weird happens here. Will's gonna sit back on the stairs. Uh, Shadowheart will take the thing out of the middle, and Zen will move to the other side once again, just in case. Maybe this is some kind of like Indiana Jones trap where we pick it up and then suddenly. An ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. Something light. bad happens. A fist sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. Oh, don't you want this that, Shadow Heart? This must be the legendary blood of Lathander. The amber is said to contain the blood of the Morning Lord himself. That is awesome. Reach into the light and you take the mace. All the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. That's what quicksaves are for. Take the mace anyway. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, are you bound in there? Ooh, with crystals coming up. Well, these are probably just other energy sources. Oh no. Oh no. You know what I should have done? Mage hand it. Why didn't I mage hand it? Man, that's so stupid. <gasps> is that the crystal outside? Is that what this is for? Uh, is that gonna shoot into the building? That's what it looks like it's about to do. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Unless you act. What's it gonna be, Shadowheart? Bloody hell. Get me out of this thing. Hurry! Okay, so we have... You look for a way out. You look for a way out. 
I don't think we have to look that hard. Uh, I was very worried for a moment that Zen was already taken away. So all of these shadow, the, all of these crystals are channeling energy into the area Shadowheart is standing. And it looks like it's then sending that energy out of a portal at the end of the room. I can't interact with that anyway. Let's start with Will, move him up here. I don't think his hex will even work on this thing, but yeah, not a target, doesn't work. Let's just Eldridge Blast this then. That's halfway done. Zen's gonna shoot it. He can't sneak attack it, just has to be a regular shot. We're gonna shoot it. Not enough damage, not even close. Karlak is going to begin throwing things from her inventory over here. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of good stuff to throw, so let me dip into someone else's back. Get the Yankee Longsword. Move that over, she can throw that, and she should be able to throw two things. So let's give her another sword. And she'll just start chucking these up towards the solar machine. <laughs> that wasn't a lot of damage. That was not a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, Shadowheart, I imagine, won't be able to move out of this machine in any way, right? Path is interrupted. That's not going well. Oh. I'm wondering if on Zen... This, this one's a stretch. I don't know if this will work. Oh, I can't even do it because I don't have an action. I was thinking about putting a shadow up here to maybe obscure the light, but no, I don't think that's going to work either. Uh, Shadowheart is going to cast Shield of Faith on herself. And she's going to believe in this cause. She's also going to take a couple steps towards the team and end her turn. How long do you think we have here? Surely if just one of these breaks, it's not going to have enough energy to do whatever it's trying to do. She can't even attack that. It's an inanimate object. Path is interrupted. She can't act in any way. I'm really glad I only sent one person in. We could Scorching Ray this. I'm going to save that for the time being. Let's double Eldritch Blast and see what that looks like. So that's one down. Okay. Will's going to move over here. Karlak is going to use her ranged weapon, which was far more effective than throwing that shit at the other light. Zen's going to use his Scorching Ray. Let me inspect this first. It doesn't resist fire or anything, right? Radiant resistant, that's okay. So Scorching Ray onto the thing, all four blasts. That's two down. Then I'm gonna move over here. Uh, Karlak, if you can, jump this way too. Let's just try to get everybody on this side now. We're not going to have very long to do this, so luckily for me, our range damage is more or less okay. Shadow Heart's going to end her turn. Uh, part of me is wondering if I should run someone through to the other side. Oh my god, it literally says two turns remaining. Oh my god, I just noticed that. Okay. Shadow Heart can't do anything. Will is going to double Eldridge. Nine damage left on that. With the rest of his turn, I want him moving towards the door. If I can't kill this thing, I need to get my friends out. That's the most important thing. We're gonna do, can I do any kind of special ranged attack? Oh, Legacy of a Burn, oh damn, that's a big attack. No, I don't think I can. So here's hoping. One HP left on that. And we move to... Oh, I have a second shot! I have a second shot! I have a second shot! What am I doing? Okay, 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 okay. This isn't looking that bad. Just in case, we have everyone within range to leave. Here's the last of the solar machines. It has 23 HP remaining. 23 HP. This is doable. This is doable. Everyone will end their turn. One round to go, escape or disarm the device. We are not leaving Shadowheart behind. We are gonna leave this place with that weapon. Two shots from Karlak, here we go. 10 HP, double Eldridge Blast. Target is too far, I'm gonna need you to move over then, Will. There you go, bud. <laughs> Oh, this was awesome. I'm glad I stuck around for one more episode. It was totally worth it. Okay. 
Now, at casual, nothing happened. You don't have a legendary weapon in your inventory or anything. Uh, speaking of which, there it is. So 4 to 12 damage on this. Let me select Shadowheart and make sure we're seeing it for her stats. 7 to 18. Once per long rest, when your hit points are reduced to zero, you regain health, and allies also regain health. The Lathander's Light sheds light in a 20-foot radius in combat. Fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded. Oh, man. We also have Sunbeam as an evocation spell. It's a level 6 evocation spell. What on earth? Sunbeam is 6 to 48 radiant damage. Oh, my God. Well, well, we can't leave that way anymore. Funny enough, we can leave this way. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today's episode, everyone. I certainly hope that you enjoyed it. Wait, what is this safe zone? Okay, maybe I lied. There's a safe zone marked on the map. Wait, don't you dare tell me that the entirety of the monastery was going to be exploded. And this was the only safe place if we didn't make it out? There's no way that's true. There's no way that's true. Oh my God. And every time I look at this place, I find another path that I think probably has something. What an incredible game. Every time I boot it up, I'm just impressed more and more. Now, I'm sure some of you were already wondering what's going on with these little worms inside my head. We're going to get a point of displace. We're going to get a point of repulsor. And then I don't know what I'm going to do with the last one. Oh, charm could be good. Charm might be all right. I'll hold on to it for now. 